The US military has six branches to it, each with their own boot camps and basic training that transitions civilians into service members. What goes on during that training? What does it take to get into each of these branches? What's up everyone? General Discharge here. This video is going to go over the basic training for the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, and the Space Force. This video will only go over the enlisted basic trainings, so if this video does well enough, we may do one on the officers. If you want to know what it takes to join the United States military, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. Let's kick it off with the Army's basic training. Army basic training, also referred to as BCT, is a 10 week long endeavor and comes in three phases. Depending on your MOS, it can be longer due to one station unit training, but we won't get into that. The location where you'll go to BCT mostly depends on your job and can be at five locations, Fort Benning, Georgia, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and Fort Knox, Kentucky. The three phases of BCT are the red phase, white phase, and the blue phase, because America. Throughout your time at BASIC, you'll be introduced to your drill sergeants, learn how to wear the army uniform, and be transitioned from a civilian to a soldier. Recruits at BCT get opportunities to go through obstacle courses, intense PT, weapons familiarization with rifles, heavy weapons, frag grenades, grenades launchers, bayonets, and much more. You also receive seaburn training and go through the gas chamber, get land navigation training, learn about patrolling, securing and defending a position, drill and ceremony, fire team formations and assaults, communications and use radios, combat life-saving skills, nine-line medevac, reporting intelligence, and much more. These are all of the skills necessary to be molded into a soldier under the Army standards. If all of that wasn't enough, you'll also navigate the confidence course, conduct marches up to 12 miles, and you'll get to do their modern Army combatus program, and learn various types of martial arts. At the end of BCT, you'll spend time out in the field and do field training exercises, from daytime and nighttime combat operations. Outside of the tests, exercises, and activities, you'll have to do the Army Combat Fitness Test, or ACFT for short. The ACFT consists of three rep max deadlifts, a standing power throw, hand release push-ups, sprint drag carry, leg tucks or planks, and a two mile run, so get in shape. After you graduate from basic training, you will undergo two additional phases of training, known as advanced individual training, where you will learn the job skills required of your MOS. With Army BCT out of the way, let's move on to Navy Boot Camp. Navy Boot Camp is eight weeks long and is located at one place, Recruit Training Command in Great Lakes, Illinois. In Navy Boot Camp, you'll learn how to be a sailor on a ship, regardless of what job you enlisted as. Because of that, a lot of what you do will be different from the traditional military boot camp you might think of. A majority of your time here will be spent indoors, and you won't get the combat training like you would in the Army or Marine boot camp. Navy boot camp kicks off with the infamous P days, which are the processing days. This first week is where all of the fun admin stuff happens. You'll get your immunizations, get medically screened, get your hair cut, gear issue, and a lot of waiting around. After an introduction to watch standing and all your basics to begin boot camp, you'll have to take your baseline PFA, which stands for Physical Fitness Assessment. The Navy PFA is max push-ups in 2 minutes, max sit-ups in 2 minutes, and a mile and a half run. You have to pass one of these in order to complete boot camp, and you'll have plenty of opportunities to do so. After P days, you'll meet your RDC, which stands for Recruit Division Commander. RDCs are the drill sergeants of the Navy. Now that you've kicked it off with boot camp, you'll learn military drill, rank structure, Navy core values, and you'll perform the Navy's swim qualification test. There will be a lot of uniform and rack inspections, classroom instruction, PT, marching, and you'll learn the basics of being a sailor. You'll receive firefighting training, go to the gas chamber, receive firearms familiarity training with the M9, and get some basic seamanship skills. At the end of boot camp, all of this culminates in a test called Battle Stations. It's a 12-hour test performed throughout the night where you learn how to respond to several casualties that may occur on a ship. Once you complete Battle Stations, you lose that ugly recruit ball cap and put on your 8 points. Upon completion of boot camp, you will be sent to your follow-on training to get brought up to speed 
speed and your rates, which is known as A school. Let's move on to Marine Boot Camp. Marine Boot Camp is 13 weeks long, the longest of the basic trainings of the military, and is located at either MCRD, San Diego, or Paris Island, South Carolina. The place you go generally depends on where you're enlisting out of. If you're living on the west coast, you'll most likely go to San Diego, and east coast, Paris Island. Marine Boot Camp starts at the infamous Yellow Footprints. That's where all hell breaks loose, and the fun begins. At Marine Boot Camp, you do not use the words I or me. You will speak in the third person, saying things like, this recruit, these recruits, you get the deal. The first person vernacular no longer applies here. Marine Boot Camp is broken down into four challenging phases, each one serving their purpose in building a United States Marine. These phases will push you to your physical and mental limits to test your resilience and enable growth. Phase 1 consists of receiving your gear and rifle issue. You'll conduct an initial strength test, be introduced to MICMAP, which stands for Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, have some fun fighting with pugil sticks, learn about weapon safety, and start close order drill. Once you make it through that, now it's time for phase two. This is where you'll begin to develop your resolve and gain the confidence to overcome every obstacle and defeat every internal and external enemy. This phase has combat water survival, physical and combat conditioning, more martial arts training, and academic classroom instruction. Phase 3 is where things start to get even more intense. You'll learn the fundamentals of marksmanship, where you'll even go an entire week learning about your weapon and not firing it get basic warrior training, get field skills like land navigation, and then for one of the most famous parts of Marine Boot Camp, the Crucible. The Crucible takes place over 54 hours and includes food and sleep deprivation and over 45 miles of marching. The Crucible event pits teams of recruits against a barrage of day and night events requiring every recruit to work together to solve problems, overcome obstacles, and help each other along the way. The obstacles you'll face include long marches, combat assault courses, the leadership reaction course, and the team building warrior stations. It is a rite of passage for everyone who becomes a Marine. Once you complete the Crucible, you'll receive your Eagle, Globe, and Anchor, or EGA for short, and you're now considered a full-fledged United States Marine. Phase 4 is the easy stuff. It's essentially an administrative phase that sends you off to your follow-on training. You'll get your final uniform issue, do your final PFT and CFT, and have your graduation. The PFT consists of max pull-ups, max crunches in 2 minutes, and a 3 mile run. Marines will either go to ITB or MCT afterwards, and then receive training in their MOS. Moving on to Air Force and Space Force basic military training. Air Force BMT is 8 weeks long and is located at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. At BMT, your drill instructor is officially called a military training instructor instructor, or MTI for short. These will be your friends for the next eight weeks. BMT kicks off with Zero Week, which is a week of in-processing and settling into BMT. You'll get your gear issue, haircuts, immunizations, and all of that fun stuff that happens in the first week of any military basic training. After Zero Week, things kick off, and you'll no longer be wearing your civvies. You'll do a PFT, which is a minute of push-ups, sit-ups, and a mile and a half run. You'll have to pass one of these by the end of BMT. Throughout training, you'll receive instruction on M16 familiarization, C-burn, where you'll go through the gas chamber, and if you're still with us right now, you're pretty much going to get gassed in every branch. You'll also go through field expeditionary skills training, be taught basic combatives, as well as engaging in pugil stick battles, and then have to go through BEAST, which is the final culminating test of BMT. BEAST stands for Basic Expeditionary Airman Skills Training, which is a week-long endeavor where you'll be put through various exercises and tests from identity identifying IEDs, leadership tactics, rescuing dummies, neutralizing targets, and other cool stuff. Once you make it through Beast, you get some classroom time and learn all about military life. You'll take your final PFT, which you should hopefully pass, and then complete the Airman's Run, graduate, and be on your way to your follow-on training. So what about the Space Force? Since it's still completely brand new in military branch standards, a majority of the Space Force BMT is very similar to the Air Force. The only difference being an emphasis on classroom and academic instruction on the Space Force. The Guardian hopefuls get 21 hours of additional instruction, with training blocks teaching them about USSF structure, ways forward, etc. As the Space Force establishes itself more and more every day, expect this training to evolve with it too. It has already changed a decent bit since its inception. And last, but certainly not least, let's go over Coast Guard Boot Camp. Coast Guard Boot Camp is 8 weeks long, and is located in Cape May, New Jersey. The drill sergeants here are referred to as company commanders. When you get there, you'll do what every branch has you do, the fun admin stuff. 
gear issue, haircuts, a slap into reality, your military experience has begun. After your indoc, you will receive your company commanders that will be with you until you graduate, and the real fun begins. You'll do the Coast Guard physical fitness test, which consists of a minute of push-ups, a minute of sit-ups, and a mile and a half run. While the Coast Guard and the Navy are similar in nature, their boot camps really aren't too alike. It's a completely different experience. You'll get weapons training, seamanship training, which includes in-depth, hands-on training of lines, knots, fire prevention, deck maintenance, and other aspects of deployment on vessels. You'll also learn military ranks and structure, go through a swim assessment, pugil stick fights, take written exams, and go through a confidence course. But guess what? Here's something cool. You don't have to go to the gas chamber in Coast Guard boot camp. Don't let that be the selling point for you though. There's much more to the military than your basic training. At the end of those hard eight weeks, you will then officially be a Coast Guardsman and will be sent to your next command. And that covers it for what it takes to join the United States military. Do you have what it takes? Let us know in the comment section below. This video served to be a basic introduction to joining the military, and we encourage you to look more into each of the boot camps if you're interested. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to cover each of these individually more in depth, as well as an officer version for joining these branches. We'd love the feedback. And before you go, we've partnered with some businesses to give you some decent discounts on a variety of products. On screen are all the companies we've partnered with thus far. The links to them will be in the description below if you want to check them out. Well, that is the down and dirty of what it takes to enlist into the United States military. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button. Or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.